The twin orbital maneuvering system engines continued to provide an additional boost to Atlantis as it heads toward the International Space Station. That OMS assist uh, should wrap up in the next uh, 15 seconds or so. All continuing to go very smoothly with Atlantis's trip to the International Space Station. On board, uh, Rick Sterko in the forward left seat, Lee Archambault in the uh, forward right seat, Pat Forrester, the flight engineer between them, Steve Swanson serving as mission specialist number one, or number two, Clay Anderson on his way to the International Space Station to replace Sonny Williams. Atlantis, press to ATO. Copy, Houston, press to ATO. Five minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis can reach orbit on two engines now, should one fail. However, all three are still performing as planned. Atlantis, single engine, Ops 3. Copy, single engine, Ops 3. Five minutes, 55 seconds into the flight. Atlantis beginning to roll to a heads-up position, the onboard guidance system putting Atlantis on a trajectory toward the International Space Station. Atlantis, single engine, Zaragoza 104. Copy, single engine, Zaragoza 104. And that call uh, means that Atlantis can reach Zaragoza in Spain on one engine. Press to Miko. Copy, Houston. Press to Miko. And that call uh, indicates Atlantis can reach a safe orbit on two engines now, all three continuing to perform as expected. Your shutdown plan is nominal. You are go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Copy, Houston, nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. The flow of fuel from the external tank into the three space shuttle main engines is equal to that of draining an average backyard swimming pool in 25 seconds. Atlantis, single engine press, 104. Copy, Houston, single engine press. And that call from Tony Antonelli here in Mission Control indicating Atlantis can reach orbit on one engine now should two fail. All three engines are still performing as expected, approaching seven minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is traveling 19,000 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 640 miles, altitude 64 miles. Awaiting Atlantis' arrival, and with great anticipation is the Expedition 15 crew. Aboard the International Space Station, Commander Fyodor Yurchikin, Flight Engineer Oleg Kotov, and Flight Engineer Sonny Williams, who will come home aboard Atlantis after six months in space. Eight minutes into the flight, the engines are now throttling back to maintain the structural limits on the orbiter as it approaches loads near three times gravity. We're standing by for the main engine cutoff confirmation from the booster officer here in Mission Control. Main engine cutoff confirmed, 8 minutes 35 seconds into the flight. Separation of the fuel tank has also been confirmed. The crew handheld photography setup will be underway shortly with a plus X maneuver that's managed by the commander on board, Rick Sterko. Atlantis uh, following away. You can see the thruster jets firing as the orbiter is being maneuvered for the uh, handheld photography. Atlantis, Houston, we show a nominal MECO. Ohms 1 is not required. Atlantis, Roger. Ohms 1, not Mission specialist Pat Forrester will be using a, a still camera with a 400 millimeter lens on it 
Uh, Danny Olivas will be using a mini DV camera vid taking video of the external tank as uh, it falls away from uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis nine minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Atlantis now in orbit after a, uh, a very uneventful climb to space with no systems problems that the flight control team uh, discussed whatsoever on the way uphill.